What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kelvin Krupiak and today I'm gonna give you seven common mistakes a lot of men make with their dress shirts. All right, guys, so before we jump into the content itself, I do wanna say if you are new here, consider subscribing. I'm putting out new videos every single week. And if you do wanna be directly notified anytime I publish a new video, then make sure you hit that bell icon and YouTube will send you a notification. Now then, let's go ahead and get into this with mistake number one, and that is your alignment is off, specifically your gig line. This one is incredibly basic and it might sound slightly ridiculous to some people, but it's incredible how sensitive the human eye is to symmetry. If your gig line isn't aligned properly, then it's immediately apparent to the person standing directly in front of you. For those of you who haven't heard of that bizarre sounding term, it's actually a military term that refers to the alignment of your shirt buttons, your belt buckle, and your pants zipper. And like I just said, having well-established points of symmetry like this can have a huge impact on the entirety of your outfit. Now, moving on to mistake number two, your undershirt is visible. A lot of the time men will and should wear an undershirt to help reduce the chance of sweat stains appearing on their dress shirt. Now, something that can derail the cohesiveness of an outfit is when people can actually see the sleeves of your undershirt. And I know I've found myself in that situation before without even realizing it. Generally, what you see is white undershirts and those are totally fine for certain colors of dress shirt, but typically for the more classics like a white dress shirt or even this light blue that I'm wearing, the white undershirt is going to stick out more obviously. Now to combat that, what I recommend doing is picking up a gray undershirt or even a skin tone undershirt. Both of those are gonna do an excellent job for you. I really like gray undershirts specifically though because I think that they do an excellent job of hiding daily signs of wear like sweat stains, for example. And also if you are gonna get a shirt that is specifically going to be an undershirt for your dress shirts, make sure that it is a V-neck or even a deep V instead of a crew neck. That's going to allow you the option of possibly unbuttoning one or two buttons on your dress shirt later in the evening, maybe when you're out at a bar with some friends and it's a more relaxed and casual environment, but it's still gonna let you keep that undershirt hidden. Next, we have mistake number three, and that is you are unbuttoning your collar. This is another small one and typically has to do with button down shirts specifically, like an Oxford, for example, and it's probably less likely you're gonna run into this problem with a dress shirt, but I did feel like it was something that was worth mentioning. And for those of you who are wondering what I'm talking about, I'm talking about buttons like these that are right below your collar. These are meant to be used. And that's because the collar on something like that Oxford shirt I just showed you is much less rigid than something like this dress shirt that I'm wearing right now. The collar is much more stiff. So for the love of all that is good, keep that collar buttoned down and keep it from flapping around freely in the wind. Moving on to mistake number four, and that is your shirt is baggy right around the waistline. Now this is something that I've covered in previous videos, so some of you guys might already know that this is a huge one for me. And the reason is, if you took the time to put together a great outfit, there's great colors being used, there's a lot of balance with respect to the patterns that you chose, everything's on point, all of that can be overlooked with a baggy shirt. I'm not gonna go too much into detail on this because I have made a video covering this in the past where I showed you guys three ways you can keep your shirt tucked in throughout the day. If you guys would like to see that video, I'll have a link to it right down below in the description and I'll also probably link up to it at the very end of this video. Mistake number five, you're leaving your shirt untucked. Yes, you can leave a shirt untucked even if it has buttons on it, but it's very important to understand when it's appropriate to do so. And a lot of that is gonna come down to the length and hem of the shirt. If the shirt comes all the way down past your butt, then that means it's obviously meant to be tucked in. Your butt is supposed to help keep it tucked in throughout the day. Shirts that are more casual in nature will sit around mid crotch and they'll have a higher rise in the back. And some of you guys might already be thinking, Kelvin, this isn't specific to dress shirts. What self-respecting man would leave a dress shirt untucked? And I, I kid you not, I've seen it. And mistake number six, you're rolling your sleeves wrong. This is another one I'm not gonna touch on in too much detail because I did make a video in the past that shows you guys three of the most ideal ways to roll your sleeves. I'll have a link to that video right down below in the description and I would encourage you guys to go check that out if you wanna learn more. And if you aren't already doing so, make sure you're giving a little more attention to your sleeves because that is a detail that just like anything else on this list can actually derail the entire appearance of an outfit. And finally, mistake number seven on our list is a wrinkled dress shirt. Now, let me paint you a picture that might explain why someone would show up with a wrinkled dress shirt. Maybe they didn't have time to take their shirt to the dry cleaners. Maybe it takes them about 30 minutes to iron a shirt properly, which I get it, I've been there. So as a last ditch effort, what they did was they took their shirt with them into the bathroom. So hopefully the steam from their shower was enough to relax the shirt itself. And in my experience, that method is really a hit or miss. Sometimes in the past it has worked for me, but more often than not, I really wouldn't recommend taking that gamble. I would recommend picking up something like an actual garment steamer like this guy right here. This can come in handy in a pinch. All you have to do is fill it up with water and in seconds it's ready to start steaming. It does an amazing job of relaxing the fabric and allowing you to improve the shirt's appearance and the overall presentation of your outfit in minutes. 
No, it's not gonna give you as crisp an appearance as if you would have taken the shirt to the dry cleaners or ironed it yourself, but this is an excellent option when you're running tight on time and you really don't wanna show up with a wrinkled shirt. Another great option is to just throw a wool sweater over that dress shirt. You keep the tie, you keep the dress shirt on, and you hide the wrinkles with that wool sweater. Especially since we're heading into the colder months, this type of layering is definitely gonna be something you can get away with comfortably. And there you have it, guys. That's really all I have for you today in this video. If you found it helpful, please do feel free to hit that thumbs up right down below. And if you are new here, consider subscribing to the channel. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.